Hey YouTube, this is Himanshu from Tech Portal, and in this video, I'm going to show you my best 20 root apps which you can use in your routine Android devices to make your device faster or easier to use. So, without any further ado, let's get started. First app in our list is this app to zip. It is basically an app which helps you to create flashable zips for your user or system apps. I have already make a video on that you can check out my videos all the links are in the description and you can easily download all the apps from the links given in the description and also you can download all the apps from the play store also so here we have the couple of apps with which just you have to select and if, when you click on go it will uh, ask you to create a flashable zip so just rename it by just typing here and after you clicking on confirm flash Confirm it will create a flashable zip with which you can easily flash it by using any recovery like CWM, TWRP, Fills recovery. And from here you can access your system apps directly. If you want to check out it, you can check out my video also. So the second and the best is Kernel Auditor. It is basically an overclocking app which helps you to overclock your device to make your device faster. So here you can see that I have an octagon processor and it is showing that my 4 cores are running and 4 are offline. From here you can check its timings and by sliding here you can access your device information directly from here. And here we have the memory how much RAM we have available. Here we have some inputs and this is the main thing which is basically the kernel order is made for. So from here you can easily access your CPU like I have my 4 cons, uh, cores off. When I click on all these and again I am going to here you can see that now my 8 cores are running at full and also you can overclock your device to increase the performance by setting your max minimum frequency to maximum or whatever you want and just apply and boot if you want it to apply and boot also. So here we have the battery if you have some battery tweaks available with your custom kernel you can also use that here we have our IO scheduler and virtual memory helps you to get the more free RAM while playing games and here we have this ZRAM option also so entropy you can also apply and if you want to increase it will help you to increase the performance of your device so in miscellaneous tweaks we have this TCP I don't know what it actually does you can try it on your own so the third and the best app which you can use to make a balance between your performance and battery is this L speed mode. It is freely available on the play store. You can download it directly from the links in the description. Let me just quickly set this. So just make this uh, advanced UI option on to use all its features. So just slide here and here we have the dashboard main tweaks. In main tweaks, you can just click on boost now to get more free RAM. Here you can see that 353 MB is now free. You can easily calibrate, kill media, servers. You can activate it. Here we have some battery performance, faster boot, Wi Fi sleeper, flag tuner. Lots of tweaks available. Previously, we were having a flashable zip, but now we can use this app to directly access. Here we also have CPU tuner. It'll, it is useful to save some battery life and we here we have the LNET optimizer input output tweaks like SD tweaks, IO boost, extended queue, partition remount here we also have cedar it will help you to make your phone less laggy and uh, by just setting it to moderate I prefer you to set it to moderate if you try to make it to aggressive it will start lagging so here we have the cleaner like clean junk files and also you can set cleaner on boot if you really want Whenever you reboot your device, it will automatically uh, make the clean junk files, app, wipe, cache partition and Dalvi cache also. So here we have the stream options. And also here, yeah, yeah. here you can also create backups of your data easily. So in settings we have nothing. So the next app is this titanium backup. So this is a basically the app which helps you to create backup and restore it for the later use. 
so here you can see that it is showing all the user and the system apps from here you can easily create backups and easily restore it and also you can set schedules for the newly installed apps or the apps which has already been updated it will auto or already automatically create a backup so here we have some modes like mar market auto updates you can explore it on your own so the fifth app in our list is system app remover it is basically an app which helps you to remove blot pairs like system apps which you don't want to use in your android device easily so here you can see that we are in system apps like you don't want an app let me choose one like you don't want this email application just click on this uninstall button and just click on yes and it will be automatically uninstalled from your Android menu and you can also here we have this in re recycle bin and if you want to delete you can directly delete it from here also and if you want it back just click on this restore and yes and it will automatically I don't know why it is not working now but you can try it again I think I have to restart my device to get it back I will do it later so the sixth app in a list is this TWRP manager it will help you to keep a check or you can also access its features without booting into TWRP recovery here we have the install option here you can easily create backups wipe data cache wipe delve cache from directly here just click on this add zip to install the zip file here you can create backup and restore it by clicking here and if you want to update your TWRP just click on this install TWRP to update it uh, from here you can easily reboot into your TWRP manager and you can access your partitions directly from here so the next and the best root app I have ever seen this is expose installer it is basically a framework which helps you to uh, install multiple rooted applications here you can see there are thousands of appli uh, root applications available you can explore it on your own and after that just whenever you download any app just slide here click on download and install and after installing go to this module section and just tick the app and after that you have to restart your device you can also go to here to soft, re soft reboot to automatically make your food boot faster so here I have some couple of apps which I can use in expose installer it is very necessary to activate this otherwise you will not be able to use this app so here we have the ad blocker this is the next app which you can use to remove ads which you get in your install applications and it which is very annoying so the next app in a list which you can use with exposed installer is this greenify app this app what basically does is here we have these three features non root root and best performance if you have not installed exposed you can set it to root to use is this app and if it will also work on non-rooted devices if you have a non-rooted device basically what app is does is let me show you it here we have this app here you can see that I have selected couple of applications it will help you to stop running these apps in the backgrounds like apps like Facebook Instagram Twitter YouTube continuously running in the background and takes a lot of battery usage and that's become very difficult for me because as I am a heavy usage so I want my device to run for more than one day but with the use of this app uh, I can easily stop running the apps in the background so just click on this plus button and select any app like I want to stop this so just click on this tick button and just click it will automatically stop all the background applications and really you will get a performance boost and your battery life also so the next app in a list is this power app which you can use by expose installer this is the endurance mode which we can find in Xperia devices by just clicking here you can stop fake locks so here we have a couple of apps just select the app which you don't want to stop fake locks so here we have the apps active in standby like whatsapp and you also can activate low battery mode in it which helps to disable functions 
like you can set like screen brightness will get low automatically whenever your bright uh, your battery gets low from 15% or 20% you can set it up to 50% screen timeout auto synchronization wi-fi mobile data bluetooth vibration also so the next is reader it basically helps you to stop the phone lagging so just turn it on so here you can see that enable serial lag reduction click on this extend IOQ and set your start automatically on boot and I always prefer you to set it to moderate don't set it to aggressive otherwise you will get some lags while in gaming so here we have this build prop editor this app will help you to easily edit your build prop dot file but just click here and you can easily edit it so here you can see that my android version is 6.0.1 and if i want to set it to 5.1.1 just type 5.1.1 and click on save or maybe you have to restart your device to apply the changes easily here we have lots of tweaks which you can do if you know otherwise don't touch anything it may break your device so the next app is this quick boot it will help you to easily reboot recovery and you can also easily boot into your bootloader so just click on this reboot and it will be automatically reboot and if you want to boot into your custom recovery just click here and if you go to into download mode just click on this bootloader and in more we have nothing and we can easily power off your device and for this for like phone information if you want to access your phone information you can directly access from here so the next is speed up swap what it actually does it just speed up your device and clean the old data like cache and Delvic cache which and you can set it to very fast just done and restart your device to apply the changes and you can see that your app opening speed will become very faster so we have this root browser application what it actually does it you can easily whenever you try to open this app it will automatically open your root folders here we have some root folders from here you can easily access any folder like from here you can also access your SD card or external storage and here we have some options which you can also use from here directly so this is the best app for rooted devices if you want to use a root browser here you can see that all the files you can access like your data folder system files from here maybe yeah here we have them system files you can access it from here like you can also edit build.prop directly from here you can just click on this rb text editor to edit it easily so the next is this terminal emulator what it actually does you can easily use it like you use command prompt in your windows so here you can see that terminal emulator you can easily execute scripts and many other things directly from here currently I have nothing with it like if you have any flashable zips like I have installed and you can easily access like let me search free so it will help me to check how much RAM I have free in out of 1.3 GB so it will show you the total RAM the used RAM and the free RAM from here so the next is this dumpster it will help you to restore your deleted photos and videos easily you can access images audio video documents other files folders apps easily from here directly so the next app in a list is this link to SD by just 
sliding here you can click on recreate mount scripts relink all application files and external folders like your library files delvic cache and if you have any second partition you can also clean you can also clean your delvic cache and app cache directly from here and you can also reboot and let's try any app like we have this facebook I can easily move it to SG card and link to SG card you have to purchase the pro version after purchasing the pro version you can easily move your data and to your SG card apps like Flipkart you can also move it to SG card directly from here you don't have to select every app just click on I think we can yeah multi select like you can multi select apps like this and this and after that you can choose whatever you want to like you want to multi uninstall reinstall freeze unfreeze clear data and link to SD card move to SD card your move to phone this is the best app to do all these features in a single place so here we have the Android manager it will help you to create backups of your rooms easily so here I have already a backup created of my Android stock marshmallow around 2.39 GB so here you can access your recovery directly and if you want to flash new recovery you like your zip files and here we have the TWRP manager and uh, here you can fix permissions in settings we have nothing so from here directly you can create backups and whenever I click on this it will help you to ask to continue and you, now I can easily restore it here we have some partition files like if you want to restore you can easily restore directly from here like particular things you can also select so the last app in our list is this roam toolbox light and what it actually does it helps you to do everything in just a single place like you can install rooms you can access your app manager if you want to kill freeze uninstall reinstall any app you can access it from here directly here we have lots of apps so here we have the root browser built-in root browser if you want to use terminal emulator you can directly use it DNS manager, auto start manager, you can also set auto start applications after boot. You can also configure your app to SD, rebooter, like configure app to SD. After that, you can select whether you want to install applications in your internal or external SD card. So, in performance, you can access your CPU, kernel tweaks, build proper editor and your interface you can also install some phones boot animations theme manager status bar icons theme chooser so from here you can also access everything so these are my top 20 root apps which I use in my Android device to make it faster to make it more convenient to use I hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and for more videos like this you can click on the subscribe button to make yourself updated so as always i see you in the next video thank you